Pneumatic compression pumps and devices are used to treat and reduce swelling in an area of the body. Lymphatic drainage is a massage-like technique using the hand to move fluid out of a congested area. They have similar roles for lymphedema and swelling, so which is better? My name is Kelly and I am a certified lymphedema therapist and a physical therapist. And today in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on the differences between the two and which may be better. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram or you can check out my website for more resources. So first, let's give an overview of manual lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage is a massage-like technique done by either a certified lymphedema therapist or taught for one to do themselves at home using a free tool, the hand. It's done using a specific sequence, starting with lymph node stimulation to the major lymph nodes in various areas, such as the head and neck area, the armpit or axilla, and the groin or inguinal lymph nodes. We also do deep breathing to stimulate the lymph system and nodes in the abdomen. Then we start closest to the heart or trunk using a gentle skin stretch massage to guide the fluid through the lymphatic vessels that run to the lymph nodes. We work down the arm or leg and then back up in a reverse order before finishing again with deep breathing. Then we have pneumatic compression pumps or devices. They are electric pumps that you put on over an area that swells. Pumps have a different number of chambers inside that fill or inflate with air in a specific sequence or pattern to help encourage and guide fluid out of an area that is swollen. So for example, in the legs, the chambers inflate from the foot and work its ways towards the abdomen to lower or help reduce swelling in the lower legs. There may be leg or arm pieces with or without trunk pieces as well. So when do we use each? Both lymphatic drainage and using a pump can be done daily. They take a similar amount of time, but with pumps, you may be able to do other things like reading if you are doing it at home yourself. They are both done in conjunction with other therapies such as wearing compression stockings or garments, doing exercises, and deep breathing. Neither is typically used as a first line of treatment for something like lymphedema, but for those with chronic edema or swelling, they both can be a absolutely wonderful tool to help manage stubborn swelling, reduce pain, and reduce the risk for infections or wounds, and improve the overall ability to move around. As a therapist, I prefer to use my hands because I can detect and feel fibrosis or thickening in areas so I can spend extra time in those stubborn spots. However, if lymphatic drainage is needed long term, the pumps and devices will help save the hands from being overworked or causing issues like arthritis or pain long term. The main obvious difference is going to be cost. Lymphatic drainage is free to do yourself, but there will be a cost to see a therapist for sessions and to have it done. The pumps and devices are much more expensive up front, but they also may help someone self-manage without the need to go see a therapist for interventions as frequently. So which is better? Well, I'm going to give the classic therapist answer and say that it does depend. Some who don't have access to support from therapists often or may have trouble reaching regions of the body to do self-manual lymphatic drainage or have issues finding good garments may be better off with a pump. If someone doesn't have the financial support or insurance coverage for a pump or needs to watch specific and localized stubborn areas, then lymphatic drainage using your hand may be better. What is a perfect scenario? Someone may have both and utilize each in conjunction with each other as needed. But as I work to help individuals each day, I very much understand that that is not simple. 
this topic and conversation is a great one to have with a local certified lymphedema therapist or a doctor who can work with you to find a personalized treatment plan and talk through which may be best for you. For more resources, be sure to check out the rest of my channel or website, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks everyone.